boy, yesterday they got a lot of laps in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We went to the Speedway yesterday. Mm -hmm. okay. It felt really good. You know, I had sure. a jacket on at first, and then it warmed up a bit. It was kind of perfect weather compared to what we'd had the previous days. Kind of two tails over the weekend, mm -hmm. right? They were rushing to get sure they got everybody in. Mm -hmm. On Saturday. Then Friday Saturday. was so windy. Oh, my gosh. Tell me about it. I, I was out golfing Friday, <laughs> and I think all of the pollen in Johnson County. Yes. With 40-mile-per-hour winds just came straight into my eyeballs. <laughs> well, a good excuse <laughs> so, for if you didn't do well, though. <laughs> Okay, you should exactly. have some goggles. You, I mean, yeah, if this would happen right? again, it would have been really good. Just uh, giving you a mulligan. I here appreciate and there. that. Thank you, Hannah. Yeah, it, it was uh, it was rough going. Uh, actually, had three confirmed tornadoes from some of the severe weather mm -hmm. that rolled through on Saturday as well. Much quieter start here this morning, so that's the good news here. Uh, east side of Indianapolis looks good. Carmel, fine. Downtown, that's a 21st and I-65. Martinsville, Cicero. And on the south side, everybody looking good around the metro area. No fog, maybe a light breeze here. It is a bit on the cool side this morning. We're down to 53 in Indianapolis. Northeast wind at 10 miles per hour under a partly cloudy sky. Metro temperatures right now were as cool as 49 in Anderson and Noblesville. Greenwood, Franklin 51, Mooresville 52, 53 in Plainfield and Lebanon this morning. It's really chilly up north. South Bend, you're checking in at about 42. 47 in Fort Wayne, 48 in Kokomo, and 50 in Lafayette here for this morning. I mentioned uh, three confirmed tornadoes south of Indianapolis. All three were south of Indianapolis. One in northeastern Brown County was an EF0, 84 mile per hour winds. Uh, not far from there, just to the north and east, just east of Nineveh. Uh, another EF0, this was uh, about 84 mile per hour estimated winds. And then a slightly stronger tornado is associated with the same storm as it crossed into Shelby County. This was on the ground for about 14 miles. EF1, 110 mile per hour winds. And in many cases, there was some structural damage, a lot of tree damage as well. Power lines down and power outages as a result of uh, these three confirmed tornadoes from the weekend. What's also interesting, uh, yeah, we started the week off kind of dry here, but boy, when we had rain, we got a lot of it. So the eight-day rainfall total, this basically dates back to last Saturday. Some of the big numbers here, Mitchell at 6.22 inches, that's down in Lawrence County, Battleground, Northwest, 4.87, Plainfield, 3.76, Rushville, just over three and a half and just over three inches of rainfall in Franklin. So we're doing pretty good precip-wise. Uh, this is the 30-day uh, percentage against the average here. We're just slightly above average at 110% here in Indianapolis. So we don't have anybody that's really, really, really high. We don't have anybody that's really, really low until you get maybe closer to the Ohio River. So we're in good shape. We could use a little dry time here, but we also will be dealing with some rain. Something else to note here, something that's interesting, this happens kind of every year here. The Saharan air layer, this is dust from the Saharan uh, Sahara Desert uh, coming across the ocean and kind of mixing into the lower 48 states. We think by Wednesday, some of that may sneak up into Indiana. Now, this is thousands of feet up, so it wouldn't impact air quality, but could maybe give you some vibrant sunrises and sunsets. Numbers this morning into the upper 40s and low 50s. We're at 67 for a high today, normal high 75. Tomorrow, I think we return to the 70s and we'll likely see numbers into the upper 70s and low 80s by Wednesday, but it does come at a cost. We'll see some rain chances starting to slide in here. Wednesday, a really good shot for rain. Thursday, some scattered showers around. Friday, I'm also bringing some spotty rain chances, but I certainly don't think it's going to be a washout for carb day. 72 Thursday, 72 on Friday. We bounce back to 80 for Saturday, and right now, race day and Memorial Day dry and warm with highs into the mid-80s. Thank you, Marcus. It is now 4.53.